morning, everybody. This is Mark Franklin. I am the branch chief for the History and Legacy Branch of the United States of America Vietnam War Commemoration. And I'm sitting with Mr. Joe Galloway, war correspondent who covered the Vietnam War extensively. And Joe, Joe joined this commemoration back in 2012 to assist me in recording and collecting oral history interviews of our Vietnam War veterans and their families. So Joe, uh, you and I have been doing this since 2013, uh, but when you were first asked to join the team, what inspired or motivated you to do so? Well, I did four tours in Vietnam uh, as a war correspondent and uh, wrote two best-selling books about the Vietnam War and uh, my best friends are Vietnam veterans and it just seemed the natural thing to do to sign on with an organization that was commemorating 50 years since that war. You know, you and I have traveled around the country and you have conducted several hundred of these interviews from veterans from all walks of life. Uh, you all ranks, all services, all races, men and women. And among that group, is there any one common theme or message that stands out or anything that you've kind of picked up on and what would that be? There is among them all a pride in their service. The country asked them to go to war and they went and they served as honorably as they could, did the job the best they could and came home to a country that was almost fatally divided and some people against them and their service. Uh, I just, uh, every single interview, I learned something I didn't know about that war and about that service. It wasn't a 10 year long war, it was 10 one year wars and each of them was vastly different. Why do you think these oral histories are important, Joe? I like to think that a hundred years from now, researchers can walk into the halls of the Library of Congress and pull these interviews out of the archives and do original research on a forgotten war in the voices of the men and women who were there at the time and served in that war. The, uh, what is this project meant to you personally? It, it has kept me connected to the Vietnam veteran community I already had those connections from my service and from standing and fighting alongside American soldiers in, in combat. Uh, and this is just a way to finish out a lifetime of service and service to those veterans. That is there anything you'd like to say to our Vietnam War veterans and their families? And this is all in support of March 29th, which is the National Vietnam War Veterans Day. So is there anything you'd like to say to our, our Vietnam veterans and their families, Joe? God bless you and keep you in this time of national distress. I hope you are all well and stay well. And, uh, We'll see you and <clears throat> talk to you on the other side. Joe, thanks very, very much for doing this. I know the uh, veterans will very, very much appreciate it, and we appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you.